So over the years, we've seen a number of patterns evolve uh, within our customers on their projects. And, and coming out of that, there's really some very common best practices we see that you know, our most successful customers always follow. So let's talk about understanding the landscape within your organization. So the first thing to look at is what's going on from a macro perspective within your industry. So each, each industry may have something going on with respect to uh, new regulations, some aspect of digital transformation. You know, we've seen that happen with like, for example, the newspaper industry, um, where their business models have been completely changed over the years. So understand what's going on within your industry from a macro perspective, but more importantly, understand what's going on from a micro perspective inside your organization. So, any major changes in strategy, um, changes in focus or on, on business plans within the organization. Those are all important things to understand. How could an MDM program fit um, within the organization in, in the context of what's going on within the company and the industry it, it operates within? Right, and I think you also want to focus on timing, right? So whatever solution you're going to try to implement, you want to make sure that it's going to be relevant within the time frame of that problem existing, right? So mm -hmm. if you're going to have a project that's going to last nine months, then you need to have a, a, a problem that's going to exist a year from now, right? If you're going to have a project that's going to last three months, then it's going to have to be, be completed before that's over. So you really want to make sure that your timing matches those types of things. And if you, under, if you see things coming down the pipe, like a, a large acquisition or something like that, that's going to really create a lot of upheaval, then it's good to get started early on, on um, driving change and driving uh, a project to completion uh, before that, that has to go live for the whole company to be uh, merged. Right, there's other major changes we've seen that um, can affect the project. So it could be a major ERP replatform. So if we're you know, gonna go swap out our ERPs over the next 12 to 18 months, um, then that's obviously gonna affect the MDM program. It might help it because um, hey, there's a lot of changes going on anyways. It's going to be easier to affect some sort of change as a part of the data management strategy. Um, but obviously it means that um, you don't want MDM to slow down that project, right? Because a lot of times those are big expensive projects. So you don't want people saying, well, we would have gotten our ERP application deployed in time, but MDM held it up. So you've got to think about what's going on from a technology strategy perspective, major uh, changes in, uh, in the landscape as well as from a business strategy perspective. If there's a new CEO in place, you might want to understand what his plans and strategies are and try to tie your program in within whatever those are going to be so that you're aligned. That's right. Sometimes you've also got those external factors too, like compliance and regulatory mm -hmm. drivers. Um, and that obviously is affecting how industries and companies react and how they plan their, their solutions too. Um, so having those aware, aware, being aware of those external factors mm -hmm. is just as important as understanding the internal ones. Yep. That's correct. So if you're doing any kind of data deployment in Europe right now, you have to be thinking about GDPR, right? If you're not thinking about that, then your project might be obsolete in three months. Yeah, so in summary, uh, you know, understanding landscapes all about looking kind of broadly from a macro perspective, what's going on in the world and within your industry, as well as looking micro, what's going on within my company, both for, from a technology strategy as well as a business strategy perspective.